so this is where I leave the Blue Ridge Parkway. I've already done all of this. And now I will start the Shenandoah National Park. So some of the highlights in Shenandoah are that it's 105 miles long following the Skyline Drive. There are 75 overlooks, 500 tra trails, and lots of visitor centers. So we're starting way down here. And we're hiking all through this. It's a long, skinny national park. So I'm at the registration for backcountry camping in Shenandoah for AT hikers and other hikers who are planning on camping overnight. I read online that they were implementing um, an online system beginning this year. So I registered online and therefore I'm assuming that I don't need to fill out one of these applications, which is nice because I already went through and figured out each night that I was estimated to be camping. And for those that are curious, you don't have to stay in shelters inside the park. These are the regulations for where you can camp. So that's good to know that stealth and dispersed camping are allowed in the park as long as you follow those regulations. I am just so taken aback by this poison ivy size. Look at this. It is dinosaur sized poison ivy all along the trail. I still haven't gotten any, just a little tiny, tiny bit, which is shocking. Um, if that dog gave me any, it's gonna come out today. Just passed my first hiker of the day at about 8.15. All clear on the cobwebs now. This is kind of just to show you how much cobwebs I've been walking through. They wrap around my ankles and then just get caught in the back of my shoes. Since I'm meeting my oops on a fixed date, um, and because I had to sort of give an estimate on where I was going to be camping in Shenandoah, um, I was able to see that I can go pretty easy while I'm in here. Um, the terrain is also a little bit easier, so I am going to make a point of taking regular and frequent breaks, getting my shoes off, letting my feet just air out and rest, and just taking it really easy in here. Um, I also have the ability to spend some time on some side trips going down to the waysides. Um, they're little like areas where the car people can stop to get food and use the restroom and things like that. So um, I'm just gonna really enjoy this section. Um, there's a once I get out of the Shenandoah um, there's a thing called the roller coaster and Pennsylvania is not too far away so I'm going to enjoy this while I can. Um, and today the weather's supposed to be nice, so I don't need to worry about any rain or anything like that. I also downloaded two new apps, um, and I'm really excited about them. 
Um, both of them were recommended to me. The first one is Picture This, and I've already identified a flower that I didn't know that's what it was. It's a wild geranium, and I'll, I'll send a picture of that at some point, or I'll, I'll, do a, I'll include it in one of my videos. And then the other one was the Merlin Bird ID, which is amazing. I don't know my birds very well, but I love the songs and I just feel like it's gonna put me in touch with nature even more to be able to identify the sounds that I hear. So I'm pretty excited about both of those things. Just finished up lunch at the Sawmill Run Overlook. I uh, found a nice grassy area underneath some kind of pine tree. It was perfect. Um, walking into a dry section now, 10 mile dry section, but the trail crosses the road a number of times and some parking lots. So I'm hoping that there might be some people around that I can yogi some water off of um and especially because it's starting to get hot so i got my 10 miles in by noon time and that was with some pretty relaxing breaks and some screwing around with the apps um the trail is definitely uh, well maintained and clear and easy to walk. Um, there's a little bit of a elevation grade going on right now, but there hasn't been anything super steep or super rocky. So I suspect I'm probably gonna be able to get 10 more miles in by the end of the day without too much problem. Hoping for five o'clock, but it's probably gonna be six. 
just because of the number of miles. Um, and that's, I kind of have to go that far because that's where the next water is. But I don't think it's going to be a problem today. The sun is out. It's like a partly cloudy, partly sunny kind of day. But the temps are definitely getting up there. There's not much of a breeze today, so it feels a little warm. Now that I'm getting a little bit deeper into the forest, um, where the trees are a little more uh, leafy, it's starting to cool off a little bit, which is nice. So far, happy with my pack. Um, it's a little bit of getting used to, because it just rides differently on my shoulders, but the water bottles, are so much easier to get into. It's like night and day. No problem at all to get the bottles in and out. That is wonderful. Here's a little behind the scenes for you. This is the tripod I'm using. It is a gorilla tripod and what I just shot was taken from this log and one further up the trail. Well, at this point I've got 0.7 miles to go to water and there's supposed to be a stealth campsite right there so that's what I'm hoping for for tonight. I've got this much left. I'm gonna guzzle some now. I'm definitely feeling a little thirsty this afternoon. Just after five o'clock, I arrived at the campsite that I was hoping to claim. Uh, the water is just over there and I'm pretty psyched this is a really nice campsite it has uh, these little log stumps for sitting on and I've got my kitchen set so up I'm gonna cook right here and also do a little bathing and then I've got this Nice area here for where my tent is. There is room for probably four tents down here. It's a nice little camp spot. Good evening everyone. Just here having my lentil soup. Enjoying the nice evening. Uh, interesting thing that happened when I went to charge my devices tonight. My watch, which was at 97% when I started this morning, was down to 16%. And my AirPods where one bat one side was down to four percent the other side was at like 67 percent so some weird tech stuff going on today i swear to god every now and then stuff like this happens it's some weird i don't know vibration thing happens radio towers which i walked by a couple of them today 
who knows what happens, but every now and then things just go totally haywire on the electronics side. So fortunately, I usually don't get through all of my battery power, even on the long stints like this one, which is 4.75 days, but um, it's close. The good thing is I've got all the wave sides that I'm going to be hitting today or uh, over the this section so I should have plenty of time to be able to charge up the battery. Overall the day went pretty good. Definitely need some adjusting to the new backpack, the different backpack. Um, it definitely wears different on my body so my shoulders and a little bit of my neck are feeling it more and also around my hips, which I knew. I'm carrying a few extra items than I did last summer and that little extra bit of weight kind of just makes it a little more uncomfortable. But I am hoping that I just need to adjust a little bit long, uh, give it a little more time for adjustment. Um, it feels really, really great otherwise. I know those are like kind of two big things, shoulders and hips. Um, but I really feel like I'm going to get used to it. So I'm going to stick it out a little bit more. And if when I get to Luray, it's still bothering me after four plus days, then I'll consider having the other hip belt sent to me. I One of the biggest reasons why I like it so much is because it's so compact. It's so small. Um, when I take it off, I just feel like it's lighter taking it off, um, putting it on. And uh, if it's better in my tent, um, it just it just feels like I have less stuff. Like the other pack is a little bit overkill for summer. It has such a long neck, and I just don't need that for the summer. So hopefully this works. Main course tonight is wild mushrooms with couscous.